History has proven that science fiction hasn't just predicted the future, it has been shaping it. In the last few decades, many of the technological achievements were actually ideas prophetically described in science fiction literature long before they even became a reality. Aside from Le Voyage dans la Lune space travel in 1902 and Blade Runner's flying cars in 1982, another prediction has been seen from the science fiction classics Westwood, Dark Man, and The Fifth. And that is 3D printing. Have you ever thought of being able to produce anything your mind thought of? Isn't it great if you can create anything that comes into your mind? Leave your answer in the comments below and watch out until the end of this video if you want to know how 3D printing has been rapidly changing our future and how it has been used in the past few years. Three D printing, also known as additive manufacturing, is a variety of processes in which a material is deposited, joined, or solidified under computer control to create a three-dimensional object with material being added together, typically layer by layer. It centers around layering materials like plastics, composites, or biomaterials to create objects that range in shape, size, rigidity, and color. The concept of 3D printing has been imagined back in the 1970s, but the first experiments are dated from 1980s by Japanese doctor Hideo Kodama, Charles Hall, Carl Deckard, and Scott Crump. Stereolithography, fused deposition modeling, and selective laser sintering became the most common type of 3D printing back then. They were expensive difficult to use and generally inaccessible to people who lacked specialized training. After the patent behind a key method of 3D printing, FDM expired in 2009, and prices for FDM printers dropped from more than $10,000 to less than $1,000, allowing consumer-friendly 3D printer manufacturers to pave the way for accessible 3D printing. Its evolution showed a rapid growth in the number of companies that adapts this technology. And as potential applications for 3D printing increase, companies are beginning to find ways in creating their new business models and opportunities with this technology. For the past years, it has been used in many different kinds of industries like the automotive industry, the aerospace industry, the industrial industry, and of course, the medical industry. Yes, the use of 3D printing has exploded in the field of medicine as well and it requires a high level of demand. As we are getting older, medicine has done a much better job in making us live longer. And the problem is, as we age, our organs tend to fail more. In fact, in the last 10 years, the number of patients that require an organ has doubled, whereas at the same time, the actual number of transplants has barely gone up. And this is now considered to be the public health crisis, especially at this time of the pandemic. Donors are difficult to find and what we want to see is trying to be less dependent on organ donations. So with 3D printing, the capabilities that we're able to generate organs which are acceptable to the recipient are much larger, said Professor Iris Rivero, the head of industrial systems and engineering. One of the most promising features of regenerating medicines is using bioprinting of human body parts. Despite the thousands of organ transplants that happen around the world, it simply cannot meet the ever-increasing demand for organ donation. Unfortunately, living and deceased donors are today the only source for these life-saving organs as we cannot produce organs at an organ factory yet. Regenerative medicine is a medical branch that develops methods to promote organ and tissue regrowth by repairing or even replacing damaged cells. It employs a wide range of techniques including stem cell treatment and tissue engineering, which is where 3D printing is being extensively researched. In the traditional method of organ transplant, the recipient is in constant need to take medicines in order to suppress their immune system acting on the newer introduced cells. To overcome the shortage of donors currently available, artificial organs will replicate the patient's own cells. These new organs will be the perfect solution to reduce the chance of rejection by the immune system as the tissues are not foreign. 
In a nutshell, 3D bioprinting is basically the application of additive fabrication techniques to create three-dimensional structures for tissue engineering. While bioprinting is still in its infancy, many exciting breakthroughs have been reached. Advanced companies and notable startups in this field believe that 3D printing, the major body parts and organs, hands, skin, eyes, even bladders could become a physical reality in the next few decades. Until a massive breakthrough came in April 2020, when a team of Israeli scientists unveiled the first 3D printed heart made from human tissues. It had all the chambers, ventricles, blood vessels, and was about the size of a cherry. Professor Tal Devere, who led the project, says it's a major step towards achieving the goal of a functioning heart, which we hope will happen in a few years. 3D printing of organs is not only limited to creating artificial organs, it can also be used to cure severe diseases like cancer. So far, studies have been successful in implanting flat structures like skin tubular, blood vessels, and hollow structures like stomachs and bladders. There have also been multiple successful efforts in creating engineered tissues and organs. However, this technology sure has a long way to go before it will be fully adapted in hospitals. There are some obvious hurdles we need to overcome. First, bioprinting needs to become faster as well as be able to produce tissues at a higher resolution. And second, we will be needing a more diverse biomaterial catalog to work with. Nevertheless, the growing competition in the private sector could help spawn the quick innovation needed to make 3D printing viable. And if that happens, this technology will surely save millions of lives. What do you think about this technology? Would you be okay with having lab-made organ transplanted in your body? Let us know in the comments below. We hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel for more awesome and substantial videos like this one. Thanks for watching.